Hello, my name is Esther Animo. I work with Veltunga Hilfer, an international non-government uh, organization here in Uganda. And today I'm with um, an engineer, Samuel, from Jakana Foods Limited. Jakana is a private sector company. They deal in food processing, specifically for dried fruit. Today, we are going to learn how to make a solar dryer. A solar dryer is an equipment that we use to dry food, mostly vegetables and fruits, in a way that prevents contamination but also reserves the nutrients. To make this particular solar dryer, we need four hinges. We we'll also need nails of different sizes, four inches, three inches, two inches, and one inch. Then the other material we need is high gloss black paint and then we shall need a brush. We also need a hammer and a knife. Then we shall need a tape measure. We shall also need a square and an improvised chisel. We will also use a bosso. The other material that we shall need is timber. We'll use timber to make the frame of the solar dryer. But specifically, we need a four by two inch timber. We shall need about six pieces of this. The other type of timber that we shall need is um, four by two by one timber. We'll need about 12 pieces of this. We also need um, a shed net. We need a shed net that is 75% nylon because it is strong and resistant to heat. The other very, the other very important material that we'll need is a UV resistant plastic sheet of 0.18 microns. This type of plastic filters off sun rays and helps to, pre to prevent them from destroying the nutrients in the food that we shall be drying. For this solar dryer, we are going to use two iron sheets. Then we are also going to use a papyrus mat. And finally, we are going to need some pins. We need enough of these and we shall specifically use them for pinning the plastic. So now we are going to go through the steps on how to construct a solar dryer. The first step is to make the stands. We need two stands and now we are going to show you how to make them. First, you measure and cut out three feet of the four by two inch timber. And then you measure off one foot where you're going to make a, uh, mark a point where we shall create a notch. The notch is what we shall use to join to the other timber. The notch will be four inches wide and two inches deep. Then you cut out the notch using a, a bosso, as you can see. And scoop it out using an improvised chisel. So, so now our notch looks like this. You make this notch for all the four pillars that we are going to be needing. And then you're going to join this notch with another four by two inch timber, which is six feet long. You do this for the rest of the other pillars. We have now we are finished making the stands and this is how they look like. You can see how the notch joins the two timber together to enhance the strength of the solar dryer. 
Next, we are going to make the frame. We will put another timber to join the two stands together to come up with a joint frame. To do this, you get a two by one piece of timber, which is 10 feet long, and another four by two piece uh, timber, which is three feet long. Then create notches on both of them and join them together. So now, this is the front and back connecting timber. Because it's too long, we created a support in the middle. Next, we are going to connect these two stands together to come up with a full frame. 